Welcome to Amdicon. My name is Michael J. Tillman and I founded Amdicon way back in 1999. Now this web page is all the details concerning the crime scene cleanup course. I strongly suggest you watch this video all the way through. You read everything on this web page because this is your future we're talking about. Your future deserves the investment of your time and energy. Now you'll hear and you'll read on the internet, it's called crime scene cleanup, uh, trauma scene cleanup, forensic cleanup, bio recovery. They all mean the same thing. It's basically cleaning up and making a place biologically safe um, where there's been a suicide, homicide, human decomposition, something like that. Industrial accidents, anything that involves blood and body fluids. So that's what this course is all about. Now I will say right off the top, we have two versions of this course. One with business teachings and one without business teachings. If you want to start your own company, work for yourself, you of course want the ones with business teachings. Now, the reason we have the version without business teachings is, let's just say you have a company and you're going to train an employee to be a technician, but you don't want them to know all about the you know pricing, marketing, that type of thing, so they don't get the idea of quitting and becoming a competitor. That's why we have the version without business teachings. The courses, the certifications, the materials covered are exactly the same, except the courses without business teachings, we just simply leave out the business teachings. This course is also available in Spanish. Now it's North American Spanish, um, and it's for people that uh, Spanish is their primary language. Maybe you're an employer, you have some um, Hispanic workers, uh, you know, and you want them to get this training, we have this course available in Spanish. So once you've graduated an Amdicon course, I provide ongoing support. Uh, anytime you have a question, anytime you have any particular need, um, just let me know and we'll get you taken care of. The course with business teachings is about 26 hours of teaching. The course without business teachings is about 21 hours. Uh, the exam time, I've had people finish the exam in 20 minutes. I've had people take two hours to finish the exam. So, you know, the exam, just allow about 90 minutes for the exam. So that gives you an idea about how long this would take to complete. Now the course is broken up into segments that are about 30 minutes long, give or take five or 10 minutes. And that way you can fit it into your schedule. You know, everybody today, we've got very busy days. Some people have regular jobs, you know, they've got kids, they've got soccer practice, all that type of thing. So our training is set up so that you can take it when it fits your schedule. Now you are allowed to take the exam as many times as you need to pass. We do that for the people who have what's called test anxiety. Some people know the information. Um, it's just they get stressed out when it's time to take an exam and they end up making silly mistakes. So for those people, I suggest that you look at the first time of taking the exam is practice. And if you pass, great. And if you don't, no big deal, just take it again. Now the exam is open book. These exams are not designed to trick you. They're not designed to fail you. They're not designed to be extremely hard. They're designed to verify that you know the information. And if you don't know the information, you know where to find it in the textbook materials. Especially when it comes to regulations. Nobody on this planet knows all the OSHA regulations, but we do want you to know how to find the answer. If a regulatory question comes up, you as a professional need to be able to find the answer um, required. So that's the basis of our exams, okay? They're not designed to trick you. They're not designed to fail you. They're just designed to verify you do know the required information. Now, if you have the time to devote to this course, studying this course, you can have it completed and, and you can be trained and certified in three or four days. But, you know, for those people that have, you know, kids and soccer practice and all that kind of stuff, we give you plenty of time to complete the course so that you can fit it into your life. So don't stress out about that. Now this isn't a webinar where you have to be online at any particular date and time. This is an online course. It's available 24 seven. Um, you take it when it fits your schedule. Amdicon courses do qualify for IICRC continuing education credits. And if you know what that is, great. If you don't know what that is, don't worry about it. You don't need it. Our courses are designed for three types of people. 
And what I mean by that is if you have an existing company and you want to add crime scene cleanup onto it, um, this course is good for you. If you want to start your own company and work for yourself and have your own company, this course is perfect for you. Now, we don't teach business 101, okay? But we do teach you how to do this industry as a business. And the third category would be a person who wants to get trained and certified so they can go to work for a company. And when they go to a job interview, they have something to offer that company. With the business teachings, you're going to get, you know, pricing, estimating, marketing, networking, all those types of questions answered in there. You know, if you want to say, okay, great, but who are you and what qualifies you, talking about myself, to, to, train, to train me? You know, go to the About page and look at, uh, I think it's your, the instructor bio, and you'll see what my qualifications are. I've trained people all over the planet. We've trained people in every English speaking country in the world. I've trained thousands of people. You know, we've got all your questions answered. Uh, you know, we got your back with this course. I teach at a federal level, and what that means is we go by federal OSHA regulations so that your knowledge and your qualifications are valid in any state in the United States. That also applies to other countries. For instance, Canada, um, the only difference between our regulations and Canada's regulations is what we call hazard communication, Canadians call WIMIS, but they're virtually the same thing. Remember, safety is safety no matter where you are. The principles of safety are all exactly the same. In other countries, instead of saying, gee, let's start at ground zero and invent safety regulations. They just said, hey, the United States has OSHA regulations, which you know took thousands and thousands of hours and millions of dollars to create. Let's just copy them, okay? So that's what they've done. So wherever you are on this planet, yes, this course will teach you all about performing crime scene cleanup services and how to do them right and how to do them legally and, and all that type of thing. So don't worry about that. I've had people from Australia, for instance, email and say, are your certifications valid in Australia? Well, first of all, at this time, Australia does not have a bloodborne pathogen standard. And the regulations they do have have all come from the United States. So yes, you know, Australians don't bleed any differently than anybody else. It, it's all the same wherever you are on the planet. So we got you covered. Now, I formed Amdicon in 1999, and there's, there was no training available. You know, if, if I had had a course like this available in 1999, it would have saved me so many mistakes and so much trial and error and so many headaches and so much money lost on making silly mistakes, you know, and, and lost opportunities. I know my first decomp I did, I remember it was $786. <laughs> You know, now I know today, man, that was a $17,000 job, okay? So you don't need to make those kind of silly mistakes. Now there's, you know, a big old list here of things we cover in the course. You know, what we cover is everything from A to Z. You know, what is the industry? How did the industry form? What's the history of the industry? What kind of jobs do we do? You know, there's a lot of BS out there on the internet and you got to be real careful with what you, what you hear and see and, and believe. You know, a lot of people have misconceptions about the types of jobs we do. You know, a lot of people think we're out there working with crime scene technicians solving this crime. That's ludicrous. Do we find evidence? Absolutely. We find, do we find critical evidence? Absolutely. But no, we're not law enforcement. You know, we can't go into the scene until the scene's released by law enforcement. So, you know, when I say we cover everything from A to Z, you know, we really do. Uh, the regulations, you know, mental health issues, how to deal with employees, how to deal with customers' privacy issues, you know, how to act when you're out in public. We just cover everything. Uh, seriously, what you will learn in this course took me 10 years to learn the hard way, the extremely hard way. I had to figure it out on my own. You don't have to do that. Don't reinvent the wheel. Don't waste your time. You know, the money you spend on this course will save you so much time and so much money in dealing with mistakes that you'll just laugh one day. You know, I have people say, oh boy, you know, that's a lot of money for that course. Well, number one, no, it's not, okay? When I had my training center in Dallas, 2004, 
you know, people had to come from all over the world to Dallas, Texas, get a hotel, get a rental car, all that kind of stuff. They'd pay $4,000 for this exact same training. And number two, if you have any business savvy at all, you realize you're investing in yourself. You're investing in your future. If this course would have been available in 99 when I started Amdicon and I didn't have the money, I would have sold anything in my life. I would have sold anything I had to get this money because it would have saved me so much trouble. I, I can't stress it. If you think the cost is too much for this course to invest in your life, to invest in yourself, to invest in this future, then you really need to stand back and, and analyze that belief system you have. Getting trained and certified in a whole new career path is a really important thing. Watching this video may be the most important thing you ever do in your life. I started Amdicom because I read one newspaper article at lunchtime. If I had missed reading that one article, my life would be totally different today. And I've been doing this since 1999. I've been doing this every day since I read that article. Believe in yourself. Invest in yourself. I, I just can't stress enough how much you'll learn in this course and, and all the agony it'll save you. How to charge, how to get paid, dealing with insurance adjusters, collecting payments, writing estimates, you know, uh, how to market, who to market to, history of the industry, bloodborne pathogen standard, post exposure evaluation follow up checklist, instructions for evaluating physician, hepatitis B vaccination written opinion. You know, again, there's so much information out there on the internet that's just absolute BS. You know, I, did, I got an email today where somebody said, I heard that uh, once a year you should be tested for all diseases. Well, that's crazy. Go to a doctor and say, I need to be tested for all diseases and see what kind of reaction you get. Um, you know, then you, you see other companies, they'll say, uh, you have to have a hepatitis B vaccination. Well, no, you don't. Okay. OSHA says as an employer, you have to offer it to the employee, but they can decline it. And if they do decline it, they have to sign a declination form that you need to keep on file. And if any time in the future they decide they do want it, then you do have to pay for it. So, you know, there's a lot of um, misinformation out there on the internet. I'm a certified safety and health official. Uh, got that certification through Texas A&M, uh, engineering arm of Texas A&M Texas University. Took me five years to get that, okay? So there's a lot to the regulations. And I know a lot of people don't want to think about regulations because to them it's just a big hassle. But you have to remember, all these regulations have one purpose, and that's to keep people safe. Again, any professional is going to realize the value this course gives them. And they're going to realize all the important information that they get in this course. I don't know what to say. I, you know, I keep saying I don't know what to say, but I don't know what to say because there's just so much information. There's no way I can tell you on this video all the information that's in this. That's why I created the course. And uh, let's see here. Respiratory protection, respirator fit, who has to wear a respirator, who doesn't have to wear a respirator, what types of respirators, when do you choose what types of respirators, general duty clause, lockout, tag out, confined spaces, fall protection. You know, people might say, well, why do you need to learn about fall protection? We had to climb up a 150 foot ladder into a above ground water storage tank one time because they had a fatality in there while it was under construction. I don't want to fall 150 feet. Do you? No. Okay. Hepatitis A vaccination. Hepatitis B. Hepatitis C. Hepatitis D. Hepatitis E. Do you know there's even a hepatitis G? So there's a lot of information here. This is not a dangerous industry to be in, but there are health risks involved. And so you need to know what those health risks are and how to protect yourself. There's also mental health risks involved. And you need to know what those mental health risks are and how to protect yourself. Yes, there's risk to this industry. So that's one reason you want to be educated. Okay, personal protective equipment. Uh, again, 
we list all the tools we suggest you have you know we give you a PDF with the supplies we suggest you get and we make suggestions on where you can get them and of course today you can actually get a lot of this stuff on Amazon the internet's changed everything OSHA compliancy paperwork dress code what about dress code for your employees when we're when we're on a job we get all hot dirty and sweaty you know how do you go to the next job and look presentable well we talk about that uh, arriving at the scene what do you say when you get to the door how do you act how do you approach the door you know how do you deal with media what about photographing scenes really are you going to let your technicians do whatever they want with their phone cameras I don't think so that can put you out of business real quickly just a massive amount of information here now one of the questions that pops up a lot is yeah but what about hands-on training okay well first of all you have to remember in 2004 I opened the industry's first dedicated training center anywhere in the world it was the first one it was dedicated to teaching crime scene cleanup I was the one that came up with the original crime scene recreations using real animal blood and tissue okay so I have a lot of experience in that arena and I had people come from all over the world and they went through this system now when it comes to our hands-on training we have something very similar what we've done is we've created a scene I've incorporated about 10 different scenes into that one so you get maximum about amount of information and education and you know you deal with uh, artwork computers furniture carpet carpet padding concrete ceramic tile carpet tack strips you know flat paint eggshell paint gloss paint textured ceiling untextured ceilings you know we've got a lot built into that one so by working that one scene you get a massive amount of information and what I do look at it this way if I called you up and said hey Bob um, I've got a shotgun suicide I want you to come with me on now you're not uh, covered under my workers comp so you can't actually do any work but I need you to suit up and I want you to stand right next to me and we're going to work that scene from beginning to end I'm going to tell you what we need to do why we need to do it and one of my technicians is going to do it and show you how it's done and show you what the end results are and show you how to work that scene from beginning to end you think oh, man what a fabulous opportunity I'm dropping everything I'm doing because I'll never have an opportunity like this again it's a once, once in a lifetime deal that's how we do our hands-on training there's no need for you to travel anywhere to learn how to do this stuff again the internet has changed everything I always try to keep up with my competitors and I know many years ago I went to a little two-day class that was held at a hotel conference room and the hands-on was a guy taking a piece of carpet and pouring some blood on it and saying see how it goes through that was it okay if you're doing any little two-day class type situation you know where they're going to put some stuff on the sh on the wall and you get to wipe it off really you need to be there for that I don't think so so again I've trained thousands of people all across the planet I've trained more people than anybody I've trained people in every country that has English language as the primary language I know what I'm doing we've been doing this a long time I've done it a whole lot so the people you know a lot of people say you need hands-on they really haven't experienced anything like our training so we've got you covered you don't need to travel anywhere to learn how to do this stuff I've done all the hard work for you we put together an excellent system here and people say well I don't know you know I think maybe I need to go to a traditional sit in a chair classroom setting okay well that's great first of all you got to schedule the time to take out of your life to go do it you know you got to go somewhere else and do it uh, you got to hope the instructor is good you know just all that kind of stuff so what I tell people who really are sitting on the fence is take our training you can take it from your home or office in your chair any time of the day or night it's very inexpensive go through it get your exam get your certifications then if you really feel like you still got to go to that other class go nothing's stopping you education is an ongoing process you know like myself I take every course I can even if you have three instructors teaching the same thing there there's always something slightly different take our course and then if you feel 
that you're missing something, then you can take the other courses. But here's the thing. In all the time I've been doing this, since 1999, nobody's ever felt the need to go take one of the old sit in a chair fashion type class, okay? Matter of fact, I had one guy call me up and say, I was in your class the other day and I have a question. Well, he wasn't in my class. It's just our course is so realistic, you feel like you're in the classroom. You feel like you're in the hands-on. You feel like you're at a crime scene. All of our courses were designed so that you would feel like you were the student going through the course yourself. It's all designed from the student's point of view. You know, I don't sit up there and just spew forth all this information I have to impress you about how knowledgeable I am. Uh, number one, that's a terrible instructor who does that. Okay, my job as an instructor is to take all the knowledge and experience I have and transfer that information to you in a way that you understand it. Look at our video samples. You'll see what I'm talking about. It's all, it's no different than you going through class with a GoPro on your head. Okay, it's the exact same thing. You know, some of the things covered about being on a scene, how to work a scene from beginning to end, assessing the room and doing a visual inspection, clearing a work path, initial bolt cleanup, using a GFCI pigtail, working with a HEPA vacuum, wet dry vacuum, how to deal with contaminated furniture, what about ceramic tile, what about grout, you know, when do you have to replace tile, when do you don't, what about adhesive tile, how do you recognize old tile that might have asbestos in it, what about hardwood floors, you know, vinyl flooring, computers, artwork, clothing, Again, we go through all this stuff. You know, I know I'm saying that a lot, but yes, we cover all this stuff in this course. Online training is relatively new. I mean, when you look at the big scheme of things. And in the early days, it was pretty Mickey Mouse, but it's really come a long way. And a lot of people, actually a lot of people who badmouth online training have never taken any. Be aware, there is a website out there that says OSHA requires hands-on training. And then they go talking about OSHA regulations. Well, they're lying to you. They intentionally quote the wrong regulations. This is not a hazardous materials training course. You're not dealing with chemical spills. You're not dealing with oil spills. You're not dealing with train derailments. No, OSHA does not require hands-on training for crime scene cleanup bio recovery, CTS, decon, whatever you want to call it. If you've made it this far, that tells me you're really serious about uh, pursuing this avenue. There is no question you have that we're not going to answer. The question I have for you is, is why would you not sign up? You know, if you've come this far and you've watched this video and you've found our website and you're not ready to sign up, are you looking for a reason to not succeed? because our course will give you every reason to succeed. So with everything I've said, everything I explained to you, I have to ask you, why wouldn't you get signed up? Today could be the first day of your new future. You can be studying five minutes from now and be fully trained and certified by this time next week. Don't put it off any longer. Do it.